Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Levine. It's uh, Saturday. I'm uh, just doing a little work at my desk. Uh, this is the place that I generally answer the emails to you from. Uh, I was talking to uh, a few patients today and uh, one of them suggested that perhaps uh, I start blogging to you guys, maybe doing a video blog, and so I thought, well, I don't know, what do I know about this? So I thought I would uh, work on uh, just chatting with you for the day. Uh, this past week was uh, uh, an interesting week. We uh, had two operative days with a total of eight patients that we did. Uh, Monday was a great day. Uh, all of the cases went uh, really well. Uh, didn't have any difficulty uh, and everyone did fine. Thursday was a different picture. Uh, you never know what you get. It's sort of like that proverbial uh, box of chocolates uh, in the movie. So our first case went really well, uh, but then the others uh, had issues. And the second case uh, was a lady that came uh, with a lot of uh, fibroids, muscle tumors in her uterus. She had no earthly idea that she had these. Uh, you know, we ask you guys uh, to make sure that you're up to date on your pap smears that you've been examined uh, recently so that there are no surprises at the time of the surgery. The fact is with this particular lady, uh, she did just what she was told. She had a pap smear in December of uh, 2012 and this is April of 2013. Uh, her pap smear was normal and supposedly her examination by the gynecologist was perfectly normal as well. Well, that's what she was told and that's what she thought. When we in fact got in there, we found that she had uh, eight different fibroids that we removed, but there were a bunch of smaller ones that we did not remove. Uh, some of these fibroids uh, were as big as two inches square, uh, so it created a lot of uh, difficulties uh, for the case, and it took an extra hour to do the case. Uh, we do these from time to time. Like this, it's, uh, it's best if people can have these fibroids shrunk with medications beforehand or remove surgically beforehand so that uh, uh, we're not doing a rough surgery which is removal of fibroids with a very delicate surgery uh, such as untying your tubes. Uh, while we can do the, the ones at the same time, there's a lot of oozing of blood and uh, um, difficulties with removing fibroids and that can uh, decrease the likelihood of uh, the tubal reversal uh, having the best outcome for you. So if we could do those at two different times, it's generally in your best interest. Uh, the point of this uh, short blog was not only to test uh, to see if I could actually do this on my own, uh, but to let you know that it's important uh, before you come here to make sure that you've had a somewhat recent exam and that uh, everything is normal. Um, and that you're keeping up to date with things. So that's all I have to say for this day. Uh, this coming week is uh, real special in Louisville. It's uh, Derby Week, so on, uh, on Friday we have the Kentucky Oaks, which is something that a lot of local people go to. And then on Saturday we, we host the Kentucky Derby, uh, drawing people from all over the uh, country and actually all over the world. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, Louisville is very crowded. We actually are canceling surgery on Thursday because there is uh, virtually no availability of rooms uh, uh, for anyone. So uh, hopefully we'll get back to the normal schedule uh, this coming week and uh, get you guys squared away. So it was nice doing this blog and, and I hope to do more for you. So here we go. We're going to turn off the camera. If we can find the button. Goodbye.